Who is Artorius? Sir Artorius the Abyss Walker was one of the four knights of Lord Gwyn. He only makes an appearance in the past, as he is deceased by the time the chosen undead escapes the undead asylum. Knight Artorius wore distinctive armor, as well as the wolf ring, and brandished his greatsword and great shield. He is known to have been a Freyan to Alvina of the forest Hunter Covenant. Sif, the great gray wolf, was his companion, now guarding his grave and keeping the Covenant of Artorius ring in his possession. Artorius hunted the Dark Wraiths and was able to traverse the Abyss with the power of his ring, which he obtained after making a covenant with the beasts there, preventing him from being swallowed by the Void, but cursing his sword in the process. In recognition of his actions, he was awarded one of Anor Londo's treasures, a silver pendant that allowed him to repel Dark Sorceries. When Ulakyle became threatened by the Abyss, created by Manus, Artorius, and his wolf companion Sif, arrived there in an attempt to save Ulakyle and rescue the abducted Princess Dusk. However, the two were overwhelmed, and Artorius sacrificed himself to protect Sif using his cleansing Great Shield, erecting a barrier around the young wolf. Swallowed by the dark, he became corrupted along with his already cursed sword. He was then laid to rest by the Chosen Undead after their encounter in the Colosseum of Ulakyle. Once defeated, Hawkeye Goff mentions the player defeating Artorius, and speaks of him when talked to multiple times. His legacy as a hero lasted for centuries. By the time of Lothric, there was the undead Legion of Farron, who were commonly called the Abyss Watchers. They partook of wolf blood, and it is said that their souls are bound together, and are one with the soul of the Wolf Bloodmaster, who is Artorius. Wielding greatswords modeled after his, and fighting in wild, ferocious styles, the Legion fought a veritable war with the Dark of the Abyss that their master had fought ages past.